Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the FFML videos. In this video, we are going to go through transfer learning um, using the PyTorch pre-trained models in the FFML Python API. Uh, transfer learning is a technique in which a machine learning model is developed for one task and is used as a starting point to build a machine learning model for another task. Transfer learning mainly has two types, feature extraction using convolutional neural networks or fine-tuning of the convolutional neural networks. Feature extraction is a method where we use all layers of the model as they are, except for the last one which we replace according to our task. To do this, we freeze all the weights for the pre-trained model. Uh, this is done by setting the trainable flag to false in the PyTorch model. After that, uh, we will just add our own classifier on top of these layers and train it. Fine-tuning is a method where we want to retrain some of the last layers according to our own task, hence the name fine-tuning. Uh, this can be easily done by unfreezing the weights of the model by setting the trainable flag to true in the PyTorch model. And then we can add our model on top of the layers or to train our new model. So let's get into the setup. We won't be discussing uh, the setup in detail. Um, you can go through that in the other video that we have on the topic. It will be linked in the description. Uh, let's import all the packages. Um, and I'm setting the logging uh, to login.info in the output so that we can see what's going on in our model. And we'll be using the cache download and pack archive uh, to download our data set, rock, rock, paper, scissors. And uh, it is already split in three ways. So we download the three data sets individually. And then we load them uh, into a direct resource. Um, okay, let's, uh, now we define our additional layers for the model. Um, uh, we uh, imported this uh, package already and uh, we will be using the nn.module from this package to define the class. Um, in the init method, uh, we define all our layers for the model. Um, uh, this is the first convolutional layer and uh, it has 4096 features in and 256 features out. Uh, we define a ReLU activation, uh, we define a dropout layer. And this is the second convolutional layer. It has 256 in and three features out. Uh, three because uh, we have three um, labels, that's why. And uh, we add a log soft max layer um, because we get some multi class classification. Um, and, uh, we, then, we defied a for, then we define a forward function. The forward function basically shows uh, the sequence in which these. Uh, layers are start to be executed. Um, first, the convolutional layer function is executed and it is passed to the real activation function. And then the dropout layer is called and then the second convolutional is called, uh, which is sent to the mob soft max of. Okay, and then we call this uh, whole class instantiated. All right, uh, now time to uh, instantiate our model. Um, uh, you can find all the mod, uh, models and their parts in, at the model plugins page. Um, for this one, we are going to use AlexNet, uh, which is a pre-trained model. Um, we also define the label uh, for the predict feature to pass into the model. Uh, we define the three classes and the classifications. Uh, we define the features, uh, which are actually an image. And uh, there we also provide the input uh, size. Then we uh, provide the predict feature and location. Note that uh, the pre-trained is true, and we set the trainable to false because uh, we are going to perform feature extraction rather than the fine tuning. And we set add layers to true because we want to replace the last layers um, since it's a different task uh, than that AlexNet was trained on. So. Uh, we define the last layers, our custom last layers, and we set that to layers right here. And then we define, and then we add all the hyperparameters for the model. We set the custom 20, batch size 32, uh, Adam optimizer, uh, you get the idea. After that, uh, we can pretty much uh, train the model. So let's train the model. 
this will take some time so uh, we're probably going to skip it all right the model is trained and after just one epoch we get an accuracy of uh, 1.0 on the validation set and uh, 0.96 on the training set uh, which means that our model is generalizing well so that makes sense all right uh, we can also check the accuracy uh, by loading the clf score ourselves and uh, calling the high level accuracy function uh, we get an accuracy of 0.946 on the test set and uh, we can make predictions and uh, predict, predict these predictions uh, by the high level predict function uh, we define this uh, display image predictions function to do that and now we call it with the prediction source predict source and the model and here we have it the predictions seem all right um, with good confidences on each of them so there it is that's it for this video um, if you didn't uh, understand anything or have trouble with something you can always uh, come open up uh, github issues on our github or you can even reach us out at the Gitter channel. Thank you.